How's it going guys? Kevin here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this awesome sign behind me. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. If you're looking at purchasing a full spectrum use laser, be sure to use my referral code in the description below. It helps you out and it helps me as well. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to get started with is we're actually going to go over to Inkscape, not RE3. And I have an image over here uh, on my other screen. I'm just going to paste that in. This is the image that we're looking to create here. So I'm going to hold control, make sure I can resize that so it's appropriate. Now this is basically the full worksheet um, of my laser cutter here. So I know that I want to make this a pretty large um, design. We can always resize it later, so I'm not too worried about that. So the first thing we're going to do here is we just have an image right now, and we want to turn this into a path so that our laser knows what to do. So we're going to go up here, go to Trace Bitmap, and then what we, what we see here is nothing to start but once you hit the up but update button you'll see that this starts attempting to trace that image so once you sort of get the hang of this you basically just go through and update this and find out um, I've done a little bit of fine-tuning here to find out that 850 is sort of where I want to be for this design um, you kinda just have to play around with that depending on which specific design it is how good the contrast is to figure out sort of where that sweet spot is and you can always go back and do it again um, there's really no downside to trying it a couple times so after that we hit OK and then it creates our uh, actual vector cuts here. So you can see I have that over here, I have my image, I can now delete my image, bring this back. So right now this is just filled, so it's not actually, uh, there's no lines on it yet. So we're going to go over here, fill and stroke, I'm going to select no fill, I am going to select the stroke, and then another thing I'm going to do is go over here to the width and make sure that this is selected to be very, very small width, so that way I don't have to worry about um, I'm going to make that black here. So there we go. We can see it's still there. It's just a little faint. Um, but we want to make sure that that width is small on that stroke because otherwise uh, when we import it into RE3, it may think if the line is wide enough that, oh, there's actually an inside line and an outside line. And that's not something that we want here. We just want single lines, single cuts. So the next thing here is we want to create a rectangle around this so that we can cut it out. So I'm just going to sort of grab the rectangle tool here, draw around that, and then I like nice uh, quarter inch radius, so I'm just going to select that here and here, and that will give me that nice curve uh, on the outline of my design here. And I, I want to kind of give this a standard size, so we're just going to do 14 and a half and 8, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift here, well sorry, I'm going to pick the selector first, then I'm going to hold shift, and then I'm going to go over here to the align and distribute. So I'm going to select align the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And now I know those two things are lined up. So at this point in time, we can now save our file as an SVG and then move over to RE3. So I'll see you guys in RE3. All right, so now I've imported my design into RE3. This is as simple as just dragging and dropping that file in. And once I've got it in here, I know that I actually want to make this a little bit larger. So one of the first things I'm going to do is just select everything here so I can just sort of drag and select you want to make sure that we are keeping the ratio here so we don't affect this at all I'm gonna make this 19 here you can see that we're still 9.7 my sheet is 19 by 11 11 and a half inches so I have plenty of room here and I've just got this centered on the bed here so one other thing here um, is I do want to cut the outline so I do need to change my outline color here so it's as simple as clicking on this line clicking on this guy down here and let's just make that orange and you can see how that actually has changed everything so that's a common mistake and a little bit of confusion early on so we'll just control Z that so you click twice and that will actually select just this line you can see now we have the nodes that have created that line and now when we come over here and we select orange it's just going to change that one line not going to change them all so you can see now we just have orange and we have black which allows us to set our different speeds so because we're going to be using 8th inch acrylic, um, I know that I can do this uh, with 30 speed and 100 power in one pass. However, for the marking or the scoring, as we're going to be doing, since we're just going to be taking off that first layer of, of adhesive on the actual acrylic itself, we want to run this at a very high speed and we want to run it at a very low power. So I like to run it at actually 200 speed and 100 power. So I'm going to go up to my settings here. I'm going to enable turbo mode and what this essentially does is allows you to go over 100 speed so you can get slightly worse results um, with this 
if you're running too fast, the laser can start to lose its positioning a little bit um, and take it a little wide on some of the turns. So I really recommend you testing and figuring out where the limits of your specific machine are. It's going to vary a little bit from machine to, me to machine. So speed 200, um, and I run it at power of 20. Now, if I want to be a little more conservative, I could probably run this um, at 150 speed and 15 power, and I'd probably get just the same results here since I'm keeping a similar ratio um, of those things. So for now, let's leave it at 220 since I know that works for me. Um, and I can just double check my order here. So right now, it's currently going to cut out the design before it goes and cuts out all the nodes on the inside. So that's not what we want to have happen. So I'll simply just grab this, bring it down below. And now I know that the first thing that will be happening is all the scoring done to the piece. And then afterwards, I'll be cutting that piece out. And so with that, I'll just check my settings. So right here, I have it in as uh, absolute. I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, I can just sort of shift my piece around. This is in the general middle of the bed, so I shouldn't have any problems with that. Um, so with that, we're now ready at this point to go cut out our design on the laser. So now that we're over at the laser, I've already got the laser powered on here. I've already got my bed in here. I have not focused anything yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my material here. So this is our eighth inch transparent clear. I'm just going to drop this in. And then just shift that around so we're on the honeycomb. And then I'm going to come over here, jog my laser head, just move it somewhere to the center. And then as before, I'm going to loosen my, my brass screw. Slide this guy down, get my focus puck, drop that in there, slide it down until it just touches. You can see there's just a little bit of wiggle, so I want to probably bring it down a little bit further. I'm just going to give myself a little more wiggle on the air hose there since it was restricting me just a little bit. Alright, there we have it. And then what I'm going to do here is just make sure that everything looks good and I can now run the perimeter so I'm going to come over here I can select run perimeter it's going to go run the perimeter for me I can see it's already going outside the design so all I'm going to do is just shift this up a little bit and to the right you can see now it's staying on the inside looking very good staying on both sides I don't really have to worry about the fact that it's going through the paper because it'll be just fine it's going to cut right through it so with that all I need to do now is turn on my water chiller, turn on my air compressor. So I like to run acrylic at a much lower pressure uh, than wood because I like to get a little bit more of that flame kissed edge. And then I'll turn on my exhaust fan and we can get this cut started and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it comes out of the laser. And you can see because we're running at 200 speed, the laser is moving much, much faster around and it's just basically removing the adhesive there so that way we can actually peel that off. But it is very satisfying to watch the laser work like this. Uh, it's extremely, extremely quick. Um, and you can make these kind of designs very, very quickly. So I actually did make a mistake here. So uh, I'll edit it in the video and make sure that you guys know ahead of time. But we need to uh, reverse our image here. So we're trying to paint on the back side here and have that paint show through to the other side. So having it cut out in the normal direction here is not what we wanted because every time we paint we're going to then accidentally paint over um, what we just painted unless we remask and retape it up. So the true way to do this is to do the reverse image which I'm going to go do on the computer. I'll cut another one out because it'll just take five minutes and then I'll show you guys what that looks like and how we go through the painting steps. Alright so the next thing that we're going to be doing now that we have everything cut out here is we're going to slowly peel off each of the specific layers and apply a coat of paint for that specific color. Now, once we apply the specific paint for that color, you want to make sure that it completely dries. Otherwise, when you apply the next layer of paint, it's not going to work very well. So, for example, when we look at our design here, we can see that if we want to start with the red, so we have the racing and the S3 in the middle there. So what that basically means is we want to remove all of the adhesive or all the masking from all the racing and from the middle of the three S3 here. So once we remove those, we'll paint those red, let it dry, remove the next layer and continue on and I'll show you guys the final result. Alright guys so here we have it I'm done painting everything so the last coat was white here so if I just give this a quick little 
preview, you can see how everything's starting to come through. So I'm going to do the final peel and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, there we have it. I am super happy with how this came out. This looks absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you like this video. If you're looking at purchasing a full spectrum used laser, be sure to use my referral code in the description below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.